Are you ever caught in a whirlwind of negative thoughts, feeling like they're pulling you down? Imagine waking up each morning with a clear mind, free from the weight of negativity. How would that change your day, your life? Today, we invite you to explore the transformative power of emptying your negative mind, guided by the wisdom of Buddhism. Think about this. Have you ever found yourself dwelling on past mistakes or worrying endlessly about the future? These thoughts can consume us, draining our energy and joy. But what if there was a way to break free from this cycle? What if you could learn to let go and embrace a more positive outlook? Consider this simple example. Imagine holding onto a heavy backpack filled with rocks. With each step, the weight drags you down, making every movement difficult. Now, imagine setting down that backpack, feeling the lightness and freedom that comes with releasing the burden. This is what it means to empty your negative mind, letting go of the thoughts that weigh you down and discovering a sense of ease and clarity. Welcome to Wisdom Woven, your guide on this journey of self-discovery and transformation. Through our videos, we aim to provide you with practical tools and ancient wisdom to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. Join us as we explore the teachings of Buddhism and uncover timeless truths that can help you cultivate inner peace and happiness. Before we dive into the rich tapestry of Buddhist wisdom, we invite you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Your support allows us to continue spreading these valuable teachings to more people around the world. Together, let's embark on this journey of self-discovery and growth. Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where wisdom meets practice and transformation begins. Lesson 1. Understanding Negative Thoughts Negativity we all know it too well, don't we? It's like a cloud that hovers over our minds, raining down doubt, fear, and sadness. But what exactly are negative thoughts? Imagine waking up on a sunny day, feeling excited about the possibilities ahead. Suddenly, a dark cloud rolls in, blocking the sun and casting shadows on everything. That's what negative thoughts do to our minds. They cloud our perspective and overshadow our joy. Negative thoughts come in many forms. They can be self-critical, telling us we're not good enough or that we'll never succeed. They can be anxious, filling our heads with worries about the future and what might go wrong. Or they can be resentful, replaying past hurts and grievances over and over again. Whatever form they take, negative thoughts have one thing in common. They hold us back from living our best lives. But here's the thing. Negative thoughts are not the truth. They're just stories that our minds tell us, based on past experiences, fears, and insecurities. And like any story, they can be rewritten. Understanding this is the first step to freeing ourselves from their grip. Think of negative thoughts as weeds in a garden. If left unchecked, they can choke out the beautiful flowers and plants, leaving only barren soil behind. But with care and attention, those weeds can be pulled out, allowing the garden to flourish once again. Similarly, we can learn to identify and challenge our negative thoughts, replacing them with more positive and empowering beliefs. It's important to realize that negative thoughts are not our fault. They're a natural part of being human, and we all experience them from time to time. But just because they're natural doesn't mean we have to accept them. We have the power to choose how we respond to our thoughts, and with practice we can learn to let go of the negative ones. One of the biggest obstacles to overcoming negative thoughts is the belief that we are our thoughts, that the voice in our head is who we truly are. But in reality, we are much more than our thoughts. We are the awareness behind them, the silent witness to our inner dialogue. By learning to separate ourselves from our thoughts, we can gain perspective and see them for what they really are, just passing clouds in the sky of our minds. So how do we go about emptying our minds of negative thoughts? It starts with awareness. Pay attention to the thoughts that arise in your mind and notice how they make you feel. Are they lifting you up or dragging you down? Once you're aware of your negative thoughts, you can begin to challenge them. One powerful technique for challenging negative thoughts is called cognitive restructuring. This involves identifying the underlying beliefs behind your negative thoughts and questioning their validity. For example, if you find yourself thinking, I'll never be successful, Ask yourself, is that really true? What evidence do I have to support that belief? By examining your thoughts in this way, 
you can start to see them more objectively and replace them with more positive and realistic beliefs. Another effective strategy for emptying your mind of negative thoughts is mindfulness meditation. This involves bringing your attention to the present moment without judgment or attachment to your thoughts. Through regular meditation practice, you can cultivate a sense of inner peace and stillness, which can help to quiet the noise of negative thinking. In the end, emptying your mind of negative thoughts is not about denying or suppressing them. It's about acknowledging them, understanding where they come from, and choosing not to let them control you. It's about reclaiming your power and realizing that you are not defined by your thoughts. So the next time a negative thought pops into your head, remember you have the power to let it go and choose a different story. Lesson 2. The Buddhist Perspective on Negative Thinking In the vast landscape of Buddhist philosophy, the concept of negative thinking holds a central place. Buddhism teaches us that our thoughts shape our reality, and negative thoughts can cloud our minds, leading to suffering and discontentment. At its core, Buddhism emphasizes the impermanent and interconnected nature of all things, including our thoughts. According to Buddhist teachings, negative thinking arises from our attachment to desires and aversions. When we cling to desires, we create expectations that may not be met, leading to disappointment and frustration. Similarly, when we resist or push away unpleasant experiences, we fuel negative emotions such as anger, fear, and sadness. Buddhism offers profound insights into the nature of the mind and how we can transform negative thoughts. One of the fundamental teachings is the concept of impermanence, anicca. Understanding that all things, including our thoughts, are transient can help us loosen our grip on negative patterns of thinking. Instead of getting caught up in fleeting thoughts, we learn to observe them with mindfulness and let them pass without attachment. Another key concept is the idea of non-self, anatta, which suggests that there is no fixed, permanent self. When we realize that our thoughts do not define us, we can cultivate a sense of detachment and freedom from negative thinking patterns. This shift in perspective allows us to approach our thoughts with greater clarity and equanimity. In Buddhism, the practice of mindfulness plays a crucial role in emptying the negative mind. Mindfulness involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. By observing our thoughts with mindfulness, we create space between ourselves and our negative thought patterns. This space allows us to respond to our thoughts more skillfully, rather than reacting impulsively. Moreover, Buddhism offers various meditation techniques to cultivate a positive mental state. Loving-kindness meditation, metta, is particularly effective in counteracting negative emotions by generating feelings of compassion and goodwill towards ourselves and others. Through regular practice, we can gradually train our minds to incline towards positive thoughts and emotions. Buddhism also teaches the importance of cultivating wisdom, prajna, to overcome negative thinking. This involves investigating the nature of our thoughts and understanding their underlying causes and conditions. By discerning the root causes of our negative thinking patterns, we can address them more effectively and cultivate a deeper sense of inner peace and contentment. Furthermore, Buddhist teachings emphasize the interconnectedness of all beings. When we recognize our interconnectedness, we realize that our thoughts and actions have ripple effects that extend beyond ourselves. Cultivating positive thoughts not only benefits our own well-being but also contributes to the well-being of others and the world around us. In summary, the Buddhist perspective on negative thinking offers profound insights and practical tools for emptying the mind of negativity. By understanding the impermanent and interconnected nature of thoughts, practicing mindfulness and meditation, cultivating wisdom, and recognizing our interconnectedness, we can free ourselves from the grip of negative thinking and experience greater peace and happiness in our lives. Lesson 3. The Nature of the Mind in Buddhism In Buddhism, the mind is often likened to a clear, calm lake. Imagine this lake as your mind, reflecting everything around it. Sometimes, the surface of the lake gets disturbed by ripples, much like our minds get disturbed by negative thoughts and emotions. Buddhism teaches that our minds are inherently pure and luminous, but they can become clouded by various mental afflictions like anger, greed, and ignorance. These afflictions create turbulence in the mind, obscuring its natural clarity and peace. According to Buddhist philosophy, 
the root cause of suffering is our misunderstanding of the true nature of reality. We mistakenly believe that our happiness depends on external circumstances, such as wealth, status, or approval from others. This misconception leads to craving, aversion, and ultimately suffering. One of the key teachings in Buddhism is impermanence, the understanding that all phenomena are transient and constantly changing. This includes our thoughts and emotions. By recognizing the impermanent nature of our thoughts, we can cultivate a sense of detachment and spaciousness in the mind. Another important concept in Buddhism is emptiness, which refers to the lack of inherent existence in all phenomena. Nothing exists independently or in isolation. Everything is interconnected and interdependent. Understanding emptiness helps us loosen our grip on fixed ideas and beliefs, allowing for greater flexibility and openness of mind. In Buddhism, there is a distinction between the ordinary mind, which is caught up in delusion and suffering, and the enlightened mind, which is free from defilements and sees things as they truly are. The path to enlightenment involves purifying the mind of negative habits and cultivating positive qualities like wisdom, compassion, and mindfulness. Meditation is a central practice in Buddhism for training the mind and developing insight into its true nature. Through mindfulness meditation, we learn to observe our thoughts without judgment or attachment, allowing them to arise and pass away like clouds in the sky. Another technique used in Buddhism to tame the mind is mantra repetition. Mantras are sacred sounds or phrases that are repeated aloud or silently to focus the mind and invoke spiritual qualities. By chanting mantras regularly, we can purify the mind and cultivate positive states of consciousness. In addition to meditation and mantra recitation, Buddhists also engage in various contemplative practices to deepen their understanding of the mind. These practices may involve reflecting on the teachings of the Buddha, contemplating the nature of reality, or cultivating qualities like loving-kindness and compassion. Ultimately, the goal of Buddhist practice is to attain liberation from suffering and realize our innate potential for wisdom and compassion. By emptying our minds of negative thoughts and delusions, we can awaken to our true nature and experience lasting peace and happiness. Lesson 4 Techniques to Empty Your Negative Mind Negativity can creep into our minds without warning, casting shadows over our thoughts and emotions. But fear not, for there are powerful techniques rooted in Buddhist wisdom that can help you empty your negative mind and find inner peace. Let's explore some of these simple yet profound practices. Awareness is key. The first step in emptying your negative mind is to become aware of your thoughts. Notice when negative thoughts arise without judgment. Simply observe them as they come and go. Mindful breathing. Take a moment to focus on your breath. Feel the sensation of each inhale and exhale. As you breathe deeply and consciously, you bring your attention to the present moment allowing negative thoughts to dissipate. Grounding techniques. Ground yourself in the present moment by focusing on your senses. Notice the sights, sounds, smells, tastes, and textures around you. This anchors you in reality and shifts your focus away from negativity. Positive affirmations. Counteract negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Repeat phrases such as, I am worthy, I am capable, and I am loved, to cultivate a positive mindset and rewire your thoughts. Gratitude practice. Cultivate gratitude by acknowledging the blessings in your life. Take time each day to reflect on what you are thankful for, no matter how small. Gratitude shifts your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant. Visualization. Envision a peaceful scene or a happy memory to redirect your mind away from negativity. Picture yourself surrounded by love, light, and positivity. Visualization can be a powerful tool for shifting your mindset. Letting go of attachments, release attachments to negative thoughts and emotions. Recognize that they are transient and do not define you. Practice letting go with each exhale, allowing negativity to dissolve. Compassion for self. Be kind and compassionate towards yourself, especially when negativity arises. Treat yourself with the same love and understanding you would offer to a dear friend facing challenges. Engage in creative outlets. Express yourself through creative outlets such as art, writing, music, or dance. Creativity allows you to channel your emotions in a positive way and fosters a sense of joy and fulfillment. Connect with nature. 
Spend time in nature to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Whether it's a walk in the park, a hike in the mountains, or simply sitting under a tree, nature has a calming effect on the mind. Mindful movement. Engage in mindful movement practices such as yoga, tai chi, or qigong. These gentle exercises not only strengthen the body but also cultivate mindfulness and promote mental clarity. Seek support. Don't hesitate to reach out for support when needed. Whether it's talking to a trusted friend, family member, or therapist, sharing your struggles can lighten the burden and provide valuable insights. Practice forgiveness. Release resentment and grudges by practicing forgiveness. Holding on to negative emotions towards others only harms yourself. Let go of the past and embrace forgiveness as a path to inner peace. Limit negative influences. Be mindful of the media you consume and the company you keep. Surround yourself with positivity and inspiration and minimize exposure to negativity, whether it's in the news or toxic relationships. Self-care rituals. Prioritize self-care rituals that nourish your mind, body, and soul. Whether it's taking a bubble bath, practicing mindfulness, or indulging in your favorite hobby, make time for activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Focus on the present. Let go of worries about the past or future and focus on the present moment. Embrace the here and now with mindfulness and acceptance, knowing that the present moment is all we truly have. Embrace imperfection. Accept that life is full of ups and downs, and it's okay to not be perfect. Embrace your flaws and imperfections with compassion and self-love, knowing that they are part of what makes you uniquely human. Set boundaries. Establish healthy boundaries to protect your mental and emotional well-being. Learn to say no to things that drain your energy and prioritize activities that uplift and inspire you. Practice patience. Change takes time, so be patient with yourself as you work on emptying your negative mind. Celebrate small victories along the way and trust in the process of growth and transformation. Stay consistent. Consistency is key to creating lasting change. Make these techniques a regular part of your daily routine, and you'll gradually notice a shift towards greater peace, positivity, and clarity of mind. Lesson 5 Mindfulness and Meditation Practices In the bustling chaos of our modern lives, finding peace can feel like searching for a needle in a haystack. But within the rich tapestry of Buddhist teachings lies a profound remedy, mindfulness and meditation. These practices offer a sanctuary, a refuge from the storms of negative thinking. Imagine a serene pond, its surface reflecting the gentle hues of the sky. Just as the pond reflects the sky, mindfulness reflects the present moment without judgment or attachment. It's about being fully present, aware of our thoughts, feelings, and sensations as they arise and pass away. Meditation, the cornerstone of mindfulness, is like tending to a garden. We sit quietly, observing the landscape of our minds. At first, the mind may resemble a wild jungle, filled with unruly thoughts and emotions. But with patience and practice, we learn to cultivate a sense of calm and clarity. One of the simplest yet most powerful meditation techniques is breath awareness. As we sit in stillness, we focus our attention on the rhythmic flow of our breath. With each inhale and exhale, we anchor ourselves in the present moment, letting go of distractions and worries. Another potent practice is loving-kindness meditation. Like planting seeds of compassion, we extend heartfelt wishes for happiness, peace, and well-being to ourselves and others. With each repetition, our hearts soften, fostering a deep sense of connection and empathy. Mindfulness isn't confined to the meditation cushion. It's a way of life. We can cultivate mindfulness in every moment, whether we're eating, walking, or washing dishes. By bringing awareness to our daily activities, we infuse them with intention and presence. In our fast-paced world, the mind often races ahead, consumed by worries about the future or regrets about the past. But mindfulness gently nudges us back to the here and now, reminding us that life unfolds in the present moment. Through mindfulness and meditation, we learn to befriend our minds, befriending even our negative thoughts. Instead of resisting or suppressing them, we welcome them with curiosity and compassion. In doing so, we discover that our thoughts are like passing clouds in the vast sky of awareness. 
As we deepen our practice, we may encounter obstacles such as restlessness, doubt, or boredom. But these challenges are not roadblocks. They are opportunities for growth and insight. With patience and perseverance, we navigate the twists and turns of the inner landscape. Mindfulness is not about achieving a state of blissful detachment. It's about embracing the full spectrum of human experience, including joy, sorrow, and everything in between. By developing a mindful attitude, we learn to ride the waves of life with greater equanimity and resilience. In the words of the Buddha, the mind is everything, what you think you become. Through mindfulness and meditation, we cultivate a garden of positive thoughts, nurturing seeds of wisdom, compassion, and inner peace. In the stillness of meditation, we discover an inner sanctuary, a refuge from the storms of the world. Here, amidst the gentle rhythm of our breath, we find solace and serenity. And as we empty our minds of negativity, we make space for joy, gratitude, and boundless possibility. Lesson 6. Cultivating Compassion and Loving Kindness In the vast garden of the mind, compassion and loving kindness are the seeds that bloom into beautiful flowers of inner peace and harmony. Cultivating these qualities is like watering the soil of our hearts, nurturing a garden where empathy and benevolence flourish. Compassion is the gentle recognition of suffering, both in ourselves and in others. It's the heartfelt desire to alleviate pain and promote healing. When we cultivate compassion, we open our hearts to the experiences of others, acknowledging their struggles with empathy and understanding. Loving kindness, on the other hand, is the boundless warmth and affection we extend towards ourselves and others. It's the gentle embrace that says, may you be happy, may you be safe, may you be free from suffering. This unconditional love radiates from within, enveloping all beings in its comforting embrace. One of the most powerful practices for cultivating compassion and loving kindness is the loving kindness meditation, also known as Metta Bhavana in the Buddhist tradition. In this practice, we systematically extend wishes of well-being and happiness to ourselves, loved ones, acquaintances, and even those with whom we have difficulties. To begin, find a quiet and comfortable space where you can sit or lie down without distractions. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, allowing your body and mind to relax. Start by directing loving kindness towards yourself. Repeat silently or aloud phrases like, May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I live with ease. Allow these words to sink into your being, nurturing feelings of self-compassion and acceptance. Next, visualize someone you love dearly, whether it's a family member, friend, or pet. Envelop them in the same loving kindness, offering them wishes of joy, peace, and well-being. Then, extend loving kindness to someone you feel neutral towards, perhaps a neighbor or colleague. Picture them in your mind's eye and send them wishes of happiness and contentment. Now, think of someone with whom you have difficulties or conflicts. This may be challenging, but see if you can soften your heart and offer them the same wishes of loving kindness and compassion. Finally, expand your awareness to include all beings, near and far, known and unknown. Envision the entire world bathed in a radiant light of loving kindness, embracing every living being with warmth and compassion. As you practice loving kindness meditation regularly, you'll notice a gradual shift in your inner landscape. Your heart will become more open and expansive, your relationships more harmonious, and your outlook on life more optimistic. Remember, Cultivating compassion and loving kindness is not just a solitary practice. It's a way of being in the world. As you go about your day, strive to embody these qualities in your thoughts, words, and actions, bringing healing and transformation wherever you go. So, let us embark on this journey of the heart, sowing the seeds of compassion and loving kindness wherever we tread. Together, we can create a world where empathy reigns supreme and love knows no bounds. Lesson 7. Letting Go of Attachments In Buddhism, letting go of attachments is like freeing yourself from heavy burdens that weigh you down. Imagine carrying a backpack filled with rocks wherever you go. These rocks represent your attachments to people, possessions, ideas, and even emotions. They can become so heavy that they hinder your journey through life. 
Attachments often stem from our desire for security and permanence. We cling to things because we believe they bring us happiness or define who we are. But in reality, attachments only create suffering because they are impermanent. Everything in life is subject to change, including relationships, material possessions, and even our own bodies. The Buddha taught that attachment leads to craving, and craving leads to suffering. When we are attached to something, we become dependent on it for our happiness. But as soon as that thing changes or is taken away from us, we experience pain and dissatisfaction. Letting go doesn't mean giving up everything you love or abandoning responsibilities. Instead, it means developing a healthy relationship with the things in your life. It's about holding onto them lightly, appreciating their presence while understanding that they are not permanent. One way to practice letting go is through the principle of impermanence. Reflect on the fact that nothing lasts forever. Not joy, not sorrow, not even life itself. By accepting this truth, you can release your grip on attachments and embrace the present moment fully. Another technique is to cultivate a sense of non-attachment through mindfulness meditation. During meditation, observe your thoughts and emotions without judgment or attachment. Notice how they arise and pass away, like clouds drifting across the sky. You can also practice letting go through acts of generosity and kindness. By giving freely without expecting anything in return, you loosen the grip of attachment on your heart. Generosity opens you up to the interconnectedness of all beings and fosters a sense of abundance rather than scarcity. Learning to let go is a gradual process that requires patience and self-compassion. Be gentle with yourself as you navigate the challenges of releasing attachments. Remember that each moment offers an opportunity to practice letting go and experiencing freedom from suffering. As you cultivate the art of letting go, you'll find that life becomes lighter and more joyful. You'll no longer be weighed down by the burdens of attachment, but instead, you'll be able to dance gracefully through the ever-changing landscape of existence. Lesson 8. The Role of Gratitude and Appreciation Gratitude is like a magic potion that can transform the mundane into the magnificent. In Buddhism, the practice of gratitude isn't just about saying thank you. It's about cultivating a deep sense of appreciation for every aspect of our lives. When we train ourselves to notice the small blessings that surround us each day, we begin to realize just how abundant our lives truly are. Imagine waking up each morning and instead of immediately focusing on the tasks ahead, you take a moment to reflect on all the things you're grateful for. It could be something as simple as the warmth of the sun on your face or the sound of birds chirping outside your window. By starting your day with a grateful heart, you set the tone for positivity and abundance. Gratitude isn't just a fleeting feeling. It's a powerful practice that can rewire our brains for happiness. When we express gratitude regularly, we strengthen the neural pathways associated with positive thinking, making it easier for us to find joy even in difficult times. It's like flexing a muscle. The more we exercise it, the stronger it becomes. But gratitude isn't just about how it benefits us personally. It also has the power to transform our relationships and our communities. When we express appreciation for others, we not only uplift their spirits, but also strengthen the bonds between us. It's a ripple effect. The more gratitude we put out into the world, the more it comes back to us. Gratitude isn't about denying the challenges or hardships we face. It's about finding light in the darkness. Even in our darkest moments, there is always something to be grateful for a kind word from a friend, a beautiful sunset, or the opportunity to learn and grow from our experiences. Practicing gratitude doesn't mean ignoring the negative aspects of life. Rather, it's about shifting our focus from what's lacking to what's present. When we train ourselves to see the glass as half full rather than half empty, we cultivate a mindset of abundance that attracts even more blessings into our lives. One of the simplest ways to cultivate gratitude is by keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, take a few moments to write down three things you're thankful for. They could be big things like landing a new job or small things like enjoying a delicious meal. The act of writing them down helps solidify them in your mind and reinforces the habit of gratitude. Another powerful practice is to express gratitude directly to others. Take the time to thank the people in your life who have made a positive impact on you. It could be a family member, a friend, or even a stranger who showed you kindness. 
By acknowledging their contributions, you not only make them feel appreciated but also deepen your own sense of connection and belonging. Gratitude is a choice. It's something we can cultivate with practice and intention. By choosing to focus on the blessings in our lives rather than the challenges, we open ourselves up to a world of abundance and possibility. So, as you go about your day, take a moment to pause and reflect on all the things you're grateful for. You may be surprised by just how much beauty and joy surround you. Lesson 9. Overcoming Self-Judgment and Criticism Do you find yourself constantly criticizing yourself? Do you feel like you're never good enough? Many of us struggle with self-judgment, but Buddhist teachings offer a path to overcome this negativity. Imagine a garden filled with flowers of different shapes, sizes, and colors. Each flower is unique and beautiful in its own way. Just like these flowers, every person is unique and valuable. Buddhism teaches us to embrace our uniqueness and let go of comparisons. Instead of constantly criticizing ourselves, we can practice self-compassion. This means treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a dear friend. When we make mistakes or face challenges, we can respond with gentleness and encouragement. One powerful practice for overcoming self-judgment is loving-kindness meditation. In this practice, we send wishes of love, happiness, and peace to ourselves and others. By cultivating feelings of goodwill towards ourselves, we can gradually soften the harsh inner critic. It's important to remember that perfection is an illusion. No one is perfect, and that's okay. We are all works in progress, learning and growing each day. Instead of striving for perfection, we can focus on being our authentic selves. Another helpful technique is to challenge negative self-talk. When we catch ourselves thinking critical thoughts, we can question their validity. Are these thoughts based on facts, or are they simply assumptions? By examining our thoughts with curiosity and openness, we can begin to loosen their grip on us. Self-care is also essential for overcoming self-judgment. Taking time to nurture our bodies, minds, and spirits can help us feel more balanced and grounded. Whether it's going for a walk in nature, practicing yoga, or simply enjoying a warm cup of tea, finding moments of peace and relaxation can make a big difference. In Buddhism, there is a concept known as beginner's mind. This refers to approaching life with openness, curiosity, and a willingness to learn. When we adopt a beginner's mind, we let go of preconceived notions and embrace the present moment with freshness and wonder. Remember, you are worthy of love and acceptance just as you are. You don't need to earn it or prove your worthiness. By cultivating self-compassion, challenging negative self-talk, and practicing self-care, you can overcome self-judgment and embrace your innate worthiness. So be kind to yourself, dear friend, and remember that you are enough. Lesson 10, Integrating Buddhist Wisdom into Daily Life Living a life imbued with Buddhist wisdom isn't about retreating to a monastery or adopting a monk's robe. It's about weaving mindfulness and compassion into the fabric of everyday existence, enriching each moment with depth and meaning. Start your day with intention. Begin each morning with a simple reflection or meditation, setting your intention to approach the day with mindfulness and kindness. Practice mindfulness in mundane tasks. Whether it's washing dishes, walking, or eating, bring your full attention to the present moment. Notice the sensations, sights, and sounds around you. Cultivate gratitude. Take a moment each day to acknowledge the blessings in your life, no matter how small. Gratitude opens the heart and fosters contentment. Be kind to yourself. Treat yourself with the same compassion you would offer to a dear friend. Embrace your imperfections and celebrate your successes. Extend compassion to others. Practice random acts of kindness and seek opportunities to help those in need. Small gestures can have a ripple effect, spreading positivity in the world. Embrace impermanence. Recognize that everything in life is transient, including joy and suffering. By accepting impermanence, we can let go of attachment and find peace in the present moment. Stay present during challenges. When faced with difficulties, instead of getting lost in worry or regret, anchor yourself in the present moment. Take a few deep breaths and remind yourself that you have the strength to endure. Foster loving relationships. 
cultivate deep connections with others based on mutual respect, empathy, and understanding. Share your joys and sorrows openly and offer support when needed. Practice forgiveness. Release yourself from the burden of resentment by forgiving those who have wronged you, including yourself. Forgiveness liberates the heart and paves the way for healing. Engage in mindful communication. Speak with honesty, kindness, and empathy. Listen attentively to others without judgment and strive to resolve conflicts peacefully. Nurture your body and mind. Take care of your physical and mental well-being through nourishing food, regular exercise, adequate rest, and practices such as meditation and yoga. Simplify your life. Declutter your surroundings and let go of unnecessary possessions and commitments. Simplifying your life creates space for clarity, peace, and mindfulness. Connect with nature. Spend time outdoors, whether it's walking in the woods, watching the sunset, or simply sitting in a park. Nature has a calming effect on the mind and reminds us of our interconnectedness with all living beings. Embody mindfulness in all activities. Whether you're working, cooking, or spending time with loved ones, strive to be fully present and engaged. Each moment is an opportunity for mindfulness practice. Cultivate patience. Recognize that personal growth and transformation take time. Be patient with yourself and others and trust in the process of gradual development. Seek guidance and support. Surround yourself with a supportive community of like-minded individuals who share your values and aspirations. Lean on each other for encouragement and inspiration. Reflect on impermanence. Regularly contemplate the transient nature of life and the inevitability of death. This awareness can motivate you to live with greater purpose and urgency. Embrace change. Instead of resisting change, embrace it as an opportunity for growth and transformation. Adaptability is a hallmark of resilience and wisdom. Cultivate a sense of awe and wonder. Approach life with a childlike curiosity and openness. Marvel at the beauty of the world around you and find joy in simple pleasures. Share your journey. As you integrate Buddhist wisdom into your daily life, share your insights and experiences with others. Your journey may inspire and uplift those around you, creating a ripple effect of positive change in the world. Conclusion. Congratulations. You've embarked on a journey to empty your negative mind, guided by the wisdom of Buddhism. Now, let's wrap up this transformative experience with some simple yet powerful insights. Embracing change. Remember, Change is the only constant in life. Instead of resisting it, learn to flow with it like a river. Allow yourself to adapt and evolve with each passing moment. Embracing impermanence. Understand that nothing in this world is permanent. Both joy and suffering are fleeting. So, cherish the moments of happiness and let go of the moments of pain with grace. Practice gratitude. Cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Take a moment each day to appreciate the blessings in your life, no matter how small they may seem. Be present. Be fully present in each moment. Let go of worries about the past or the future and focus on what's happening right now. This is where true peace and happiness reside. Cultivate compassion. Extend compassion not only to others but also to yourself. Be kind and gentle with yourself, especially during challenging times. Let go of attachments. Release your attachments to material possessions, relationships, and even your own self-image. True freedom lies in letting go of these burdens. Practice mindfulness. Incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine. Pay attention to your thoughts, feelings, and sensations without judgment. This simple practice can transform your life. Embrace imperfection. Embrace your imperfections and celebrate your uniqueness. You don't have to be perfect to be worthy of love and acceptance. Practice self-care. Take care of your body, mind, and spirit. Prioritize activities that nourish your well-being, whether it's exercise, meditation, or spending time in nature. Surround yourself with positivity. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. Avoid negative influences that drain your energy and bring you down. Stay open to learning. Be open to new ideas, perspectives, and experiences. Life is a continuous journey of growth and learning. Forgive yourself and others. Let go of resentment and bitterness by practicing forgiveness. 
Forgiving others doesn't mean condoning their actions. It simply means releasing yourself from the burden of anger and resentment. Set intentions. Set clear intentions for what you want to cultivate in your life. Whether it's peace, joy, or fulfillment, align your actions with your deepest desires. Embrace silence. Find moments of silence and stillness amidst the chaos of everyday life. It's in these moments that you can connect with your true essence. Trust the process. Trust that everything is unfolding as it should. Even in the face of challenges, have faith that you are exactly where you need to be. Practice non-attachment. Cultivate non-attachment to outcomes. Instead of clinging to specific results, focus on the journey itself and trust that the universe has a plan for you. Embody mindfulness. Let mindfulness permeate every aspect of your life, from the way you eat to the way you interact with others. Live each moment with intention and awareness. Celebrate your progress. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small it may seem. Every step you take towards emptying your negative mind is a victory worth celebrating. Stay connected. Stay connected to your inner wisdom and the teachings of Buddhism. Seek out community and resources that support your journey of personal growth. Remember, the journey to empty your negative mind is not a destination but a lifelong practice. Stay committed to your path, and may you find peace, joy, and fulfillment along the way. Thank you for joining us on this transformative journey with Wisdom Woven. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to continue exploring the depths of wisdom together.